Welcome to tonight's lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to start vectors. And under vectors, we're going to discuss how we can uh, add and subtract vectors. Then apart from that, we'll also discuss how we can um, apply the scalar multiple uh, on a vector. And then we we'll also have to look um, at uh, the, what is the, the magnitude of a vector. How do you find the magnitude? And then apart from that, we'll proceed on the next question in the tutorial sheet, which is going to be this, uh, I mean, which is going to lead us into discussing um, the unit vector of um, any given vector. All right. Um, I mean, the unit vector in the direction of any given vector. Okay, so let's quickly begin. So in case you have any questions or you have, um, in case you have any questions or you have, uh the is you you have um uh, uh past papers that you would want me to help you uh solve you can simply contact me on the lines that i'm going to put on the screen now yeah so you can use uh these lines on the screen and um contact me either on whatsapp email telegram twitter um instagram or youtube you can contact me and then i'll respond to you as soon as I see your text message. If you need extra lessons or tuitions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines, and then we're going to discuss how we're going to help each other. All right, so let's quickly move on. Okay, so this is the first question that we'll ha we have to discuss under vectors. So as we can see, we have this first question there, which says three over four u, um, so in other words, we've been told to multiply u by three over four because the u vector has been given to be that. And then uh, the v vector is this one. And then we've been, asked, we've been asked to compute this. So this is what we have been given. So now let us quickly see how we can solve such questions. So this is our first question. So our first question says we have to Okay, so we have to uh, multiply u by three over four. So the vector u has been given to be, so for you to show that this is a vector, you have to uh, show the direction on top there of a vector. Then a scalar will, will only have magnitude, but no direction. So if it's a scalar, you just have to write u, but a vector needs to have the symbol for the direction on top there. So the vector u has been given as, uh, 4i minus k. So th these are three dimension vectors because we have i, j, and k. Actually, this one is supposed to be j and not i. Okay, so this is what we've been given. So now for us to find 3 over 4, 3 over 4u, this is now going to be equal to 3 over 4. And then the vector u here, simply just 4i, uh, rather 4j minus k. So when you multiply this, you're going to have uh, this and that to cancel, and you're just going to remain with three, uh, three j, then minus three over four times three, I mean times k, you're going to have three over four k. So this is what we have as our vector. So this is the first solution. Let's quickly move on to the next solution. So the next question is there, which is B, and it's asking us to um, multiply negative three by what? By u. And then, okay, let me just write it the way it is. We have negative 3u uh, minus 7v. Uh, so this is just the same as multiplying negative 3. Then we put u in brackets. We have 4j, then minus k. And then we also have uh, negative 7 being multiplied to v. So v is simply just 6i minus 2j minus 7k. So having done this, the next thing that you need to do here is to multiply this, this uh, times everything in brackets, then seven times everything in brackets as well. So we have negative three times four, we have negative 12j, uh, then negative three times negative k, we have positive three k, then we have negative seven times six, um, we have uh, 42. 
So this would be negative 42. I then negative seven times negative two, we have positive 14 J. Then we have negative seven times negative seven. This is positive 49 K. So the next thing that we need to do here is to uh, pair the like terms. So I'll start with I. So for I, there's only one, which is uh, this negative 42 I. So we have negative 42 I, and then for J, J we have negative 12 um, J. Then we also have positive 14 J. Then there's also 3K and 49K. So we have positive 3K and 49K. And then this is what you have. So when you add this and that, you're getting positive uh, 2J. Then when you add 3 and 49, you get 52. So this is going to give us positive 52K. Um, so this is the solution to uh, the question. We proceed, we move on to the, we we'll move on to the uh, last part of this question. So this uh, last part is asking us first to add the vector u, uh, rather the vector v to 10 u. And then after adding, we find the magnitude of the vector. So um, let us see how we do that. So first of all, we're going to start with what is in the brackets there, what is inside the uh, absolute value symbols. So um, we have the question itself is uh, V plus 10 U. So from there, the next thing that you need to do is to, uh, the next thing that you need to do is to, do us is to, to first uh, deal with what is in the brackets there. So inside there we have V then plus 10 U. So V plus 10 U there, it's just the same as writing our V as six I minus two J, uh, we have minus seven K. And then we say plus 10, then U has been given there as four J, then minus K. So from there we have, 6i minus 2j plus, uh, sorry, we have to pair the like terms. Oh, before we pair the like, term, the, the like terms, let's first open the brackets this side. So we have minus here. Okay. What is supposed to be here? Uh, minus 2j. Okay, so we have a minus there, 7k. Then from there, we can add this part. So we have positive uh, 10 times four, this is giving us 40 J. Then 10 times negative K, we have negative 10 K. So here's just a matter of pairing the like terms. So what are the like terms here? We have six I and um, what else? So six I is just alone there. Then we have um, negative two J. Then we also have 40 J. So we have positive 40. J. So there's also this negative 7K and negative 10K. So we have negative 7K and negative 10K. So when you add, uh, first here we have a 6I, then when you add this part and that part, we have a positive 38J. Then the last part here, when you add them, you're getting negative 17K. Yeah, so that is exactly um what you are supposed to do okay so let us see uh how best we can answer uh the next question so this is the last part of this is the last part of question eight so let's see how we can answer question nine 